Also, is this lady just walking circles? Oh, she's gone. Welcome back to Extra Holiday Games. I'm Extra Holiday and I bumped the mic. Apologies. Uh, <laughs> that uh, hopefully, hopefully future me can fix that so it's not <laughs> too terrible for your ears. Uh, but hey, we're in Lavincia and we are looking around. We have some trainers to battle and obviously a gym to do, but I want to I kind of want to finish looking at what our options are fashion wise before we do that. OK, let's just get off to get out of there. Looks like we do have a couple more stores. So probably a footwear, right? More. Ah, high top sneakers instead of low tops. Uh, I don't know if I'm a big fan of high tops, but I mean, it's kind of what I wear IRL, but I don't know if I want to wear them in game is the thing. Hmm. They were a little. They were a little toned down, perhaps. Maybe. Not the fire ones. Mm -hmm. ah. Electric. Oh, I was. I was kind of just expecting the three basic types. Well, kind of like the normal ones, though. Hmm. for each type. Uh, I kind of like the dark ones. <laughs> we'll try these out. I think what's bothering me most about this outfit currently and trying to mix it up is uh, I think I think the socks. I think the socks need to be different to make a lot of this stuff work. But hey, look, here's a sock store right here. Weird to say that because Specific so store specifically for socks. Oh, hey, tights. That's cool. You can finally match Nimona. Kind of like that logo th there. Uh, but you call that orange? Uh, pink. Cry. Blue. Oh, I kind of like the blue. Kind of like the blue, and I kind of like the orange. Maybe not with these shoes, but. Uh, printed tights. Well, that's cute. Well, oh, that. Well, no. I think I like the pattern A better. Yeah. Let's see. Ooh, that's kind of cool, too. Oh. Okay. A little bit more of a wild pattern there. Okay. Sporty tights. Not bad, not bad. Wait, this is green? That don't look like green to me, but... <laughs> Alright. Uh, I think I like... Uh, what was it? was the so kind of like the printed tights both a and c 
kind of like this and I kind of like this. I think A probably works better, but I'm going to buy C as well. Yeah, I like this. Yeah. I think this may be... Maybe we'll be able to add a little bit more color with these tights instead of the socks we were using. Hmm. It always looks different once you get out of the store. Uh, are there any more shops? Anymore, anymore, anymore. Uh, are you going to point out the gym to me? Uh, that is Picnic Max. Okay. Doesn't appear to be any more shops for us to look at. You have something to say? You <laughs> really ought to get out more. Yeah, you and me both, buddy. Alright. Um... Okay, 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 okay. Okay, cool. Uh alright, so yeah, let's Alright, first let's let's figure out whether we like this look, because and what options we have. I don't know that I necessarily like these tights with these shoes. Uh, maybe the black and pink ones? No, not really. In fact, I don't know that I really like the low tops at all with these tights. Um, let's go back to the high tops. And then... Maybe, maybe the C tights? Hmm, maybe, maybe. Uh, let's see, black and pink with these? No, no, no. Uh, well, let's, let's see what it looks like here. Oh yeah, this looks, this looks better than with the other tights. I do like the other tights, but I think this looks better. Uh, however, I also want to see gloves. What about the red gloves? Mm. I think I like the black better. And we still got our school school gloves. Which, eh. Probably that. Hmm. I'm still not totally in love with the shoes. So maybe... The gray low tops? Oh. Performance sneakers? No. These look like clown shoes. <laughs> I'm just gonna say. Uh, what about these with the black high socks? That's what we were wearing, right? Hmm. Gray crew socks, no. Huh. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I think this is about as good as we can do for now. Let's see. Where was that fancy shop? Wait, have we been... Wait, have we been here? Wait, it's over here. This is the fancy shop. Right, 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 right. Fancy designer store. Veracida. Okay. So, what did we like here? Uh, black and gold, not really. White and black, maybe. I do kind of... Uh, no. Not with those tights. Um, the loafers, right. We're looking at loafers. I don't know about white, but... Black almost works here. Hmm. Uh, White, white and black, mm, red, oops. 
Mm, not quite. Now that blends in too much. Silver. Checkered. Uh, yeah, see, I'm not super sold on the gloves we're currently wearing. Maybe, maybe we switch the gloves. Mm, I kind of like the red and white gloves. Uh, no, not that. Navy and white, maybe. I think the navy and black looked better. Uh, pink and white, not sure why this would work, but. Black, uh, red and black. Mm. Mm. Oh, the orange maybe. No, not quite. Uh, what was it? Those do look kind of neat. I don't know though. Uh, I don't know. Is there anything in these gloves that we really liked? Mm, I think the best is probably the red and white. They had a red and black though too, right? Mm, maybe. Maybe. Uh, but there was a backpack that I liked. I like this. And then I remember I liked this. That might be the backpack. Uh, it's a red one. Ah, oh, but I do like the red one as well. Don't have a ton of money. <laughs> I mean, not when... Not when we're dealing with this store. Yeah, didn't really want any sweatbands or sunglasses. Okay. So I think the only thing I'm really leaning towards is these backpacks. We've got uh, blue, which is a no, but red, maybe. I think maybe the red. And then also the white and black I kind of like. Or no, it was black and white. <laughs> I'm about to go broke. <laughs> yeah, all right. We'll do... Hold on. This one? No, we'll do the other one first, because I'm actually not sure that the red one will actually work here. Leather back. All right. <laughs> Ooh, I actually do kind of like that. Yeah, I think that maybe, uh, I think that actually pulls the shoes into the look. I like it. Okay. Okay. Now that the fashion is over, okay? We're, 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 we're done with that. Moving on. Uh, oh, but should I get different gloves? No, you know what? These gloves work. They work fine. Okay, let's get out of here. Whew. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go battle some trainers, because I want to... Apparently, there are a lot of trainers around here that we just didn't battle. And then... Oh, yeah, I want to swap Squidward back out, because Squidward's got enough levels, and I do want to use Ruffa in actuality. So... Oh, also, I just noticed Ruffa has Moxie, which is fun ability. I don't want to do my job. No. Oh, then quit. <laughs> I mean, obviously, it's not as simple as that, but. Pickle Thargon. 
Uh, we don't have anything against this guy. Uh, does Klefki levitate? I don't know if Klefki levitates. I'm gonna guess no. And also, hopefully, he's not using a fairy move. I didn't think about this before I sent Rafa, but hopefully. Torment. Okay, that's fine. We haven't used the move yet. Also, it doesn't affect Rafa. Does Torment not affect dark types? Is that what's happening here? Huh. Fairy wind. Okay, there's the fairy move. It's fine. We survived. Hopefully, it's not levitating. Oh, wait. No, it probably doesn't have levitate, right? Because it has prankster. Or it can have prankster anyway. I guess it could be like bronze or where it can have one or the other. It can have levitate or a different ability. Uh, another fairy wind kills. I don't really want to risk that. So let's go into hot wheels. Let's go into hot wheels. You know, I've kind of been thinking about it. I kind of want... Fairy Lock? What's that do? Oh, nobody can run during the next turn. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I've been thinking about it. Because I have started... I started doing... What I would consider... What, I, what I'm attempting to make an, it, as an optimized playthrough of Diamond version. And I, I say that it's it's basically like a pseudo speed run where I'm trying to get through the game basically as quick as possible, but not actually using speed run strats, just kind of stuff I've come up with on my own. And what that taught me, what the, this first attempt has taught me is that uh, it's kind of important to like evolve Pokemon and stuff because I, in that Diamond playthrough, I was playing very differently from how I normally play in that, you know, I was basically, when it came to allocation of experience, I was basically funneling all my experience into whatever Pokemon was going to be most useful for the next gym. Uh, and it hasn't been super successful, to my surprise. Why, you meanie head? This man is, is, this is a man child. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, surprisingly ineffective. So, the, the lesson I've taken from that and I'm kind of thinking about applying here is I kind of want to keep Pokemon in my party until they evolve or you know I get a good sense for when they would have evolved also I'm looking at my party now and just realizing that only one of these Pokemon is 9th gen <laughs> when I originally set out to be like oh yeah I want to try to use new Pokemon as much as possible oh well I want to be like the wind and travel across the whole wide world that's neat. Okay. You could do that. I'm not going to stop you. Oh, hey. Is that fall, dearling? I think that's fall. Oh, wait. I have pluck. But also, um, I'm pretty sure Targon's a special attacker. So, Saibi might still be more powerful. Particularly when you consider that it's stab. Alrighty. Cool. <laughs> yeah, fun to be back in this area now that we have so much more mobility. Stantler, do we have a fighting type? We do. Sparta it is. <sighs> I do do plan on maybe exploring those islands a little bit. I also feel like there's probably some stuff I missed over on the other side, but I guess we'll go, we'll get that stuff when we head back there. Ooh, nice miss, buddy. 
Rock smash! Nice. Good, good. Step one down. Ooh, what are you learning? Nightshade. No. No, we don't need Nightshade. Not when we have Hex. It's going to be better in almost all scenarios. Why are the winds of fate always blowing against me? Well, I mean... Sounds like a skill issue, really, but... You know, it's fine. Don't worry about it, bud. I'm sure you'll get better. Ghost? Drowsy. I don't know that that's a good typing, actually. Honestly, I think Drowsy would be worse off being ghost type under pretty much all scenarios. Hey, by the way, uh, Dargan, you can take that. Ooh, ooh, my knee trainer. He wants to be the very best, like no one ever was. All right, what's up, kid? I want to be number one. I'm going to be the strongest. Well, you're going to have to beat me first, bud. Okay, I... Um... His name. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not meant to be read that way, but. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Also, low kicks. U turn. Oh, the strats. Okay. I see you, kid whose name I'm not going to say. Rufflet? Okay. Low kicks and rufflet. There's some damage. Oh, you're just gonna keep you turning. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I mean, that works for me. You've only got two Pokemon. I know exactly who you're going into next, so... Yeah. Don't know if it's the most effective strat. Uh, agility. Okay. By the way, I brought up the point of evolving Pokemon earlier because uh, Hot Wheels, I think, is getting pretty close to evolving. So. Yeah, that'll, that'll be neat probably keep Hot Wheels in the party until that happens. I'll actually, now that I think about it, we had Hot Wheels in the party for the Steel Titan, didn't we? So actually, maybe we switch Hot Wheels out. <laughs> hmm. Oh yeah, what are we doing next? Uh, probably the Dark Base after. So, Iono, then what was the other thing we were going to do? Poison Base and then Dark Base, probably. Or maybe actually I'm probably gonna go to the probably gonna do dark base then poison base I guess maybe we can share being number one yeah no no I'm just I'm just gonna be better than you anyway uh yeah so I guess dark base if we're doing the dark base we could use a fairy type on the team uh also Sparta can stay because, you know, Dark is weak against that, but why was Rick on the team again? Electric, Dark Poison, we don't really have any reason to keep Rick on the team either. Okay, so yeah, let's think about this. So rebalancing, we have our ground type uh, and then for Dark, Dark is weak to bug, po uh, not poison, bug, fighting, and fairy. So we could use a fairy type, and we could use a bug type. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. So 
bug type or fairy type. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, we have six boxes. Uh, seven boxes of Pokemon now? <laughs> Damn. All right. Uh, <laughs> I almost, I almost want to use Jigglyfist. In fact, I'm pretty sure we have a Moonstone, so we could probably evolve it right away if I'm, if I'm remembering how Jigglypuff evolves correctly. Uh, oh yeah, we also have Dung. It's just a weird sentence to say, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, okay, we've got that. Could use Dung. Uh, bu -bu bug and fairy types, bug and fairy types, bug and fairy types. Also, why is Clamp on the team? Clamp doesn't really have a reason to be on the team either, does he? Electric. Uh, electric. Yeah, no, it's, it's, I think we could probably swap Clamp out too. But we don't really have anyone else that we need to swap out. So, or any other types that we need to grab. Because Poison is weak to Ground and Psychic. We already have a Psychic and Ground type. So... But anyway, we were looking for fairy types and bug types. Uh, I could also use one of the Floets or Flabebes I have. Because those would be... I haven't actually used one. So maybe I should. For our fairy type. Hmm. I think it would probably be more effective to use... A jiggly or wiggly, but hmm. so we have knights here, who's just red flower fairy terror type. Uh, what else do we have for Floet and Flapepe? Um, 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 um. Got Lily, who is a yellow flower. Wait, do we really only have the two? I thought we had more. Didn't we have like a red flower? Yeah, we've got a red flower one. Robopix. Okay, alright. Might go with that, given the steel terra type. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's probably gonna be. I mean, also we have Wally, but <laughs> I have used Roths so many times. I gotta, I gotta branch out a little bit, you know, just a little bit. Uh, yeah, let's go with Robopix, and we'll swap Rick out, and then for our oh yeah, Robopix is super low level. Uh, also, I should grab your health item. And then for our bug type, yeah, we'll use we'll use Dong. Who is already level 26. Now we can we can train him up to 30, that's right. Okay, we're good. We're good. Alright. Cool. So that looks good. Uh, oh, wait, did we have an item that we were supposed to... No, Hot Wheels didn't have an item on it. Okay. So, now that we've done that, uh, I am going to put Eviolate on you. I mean, I guess you both evolve, both Robopix and Dung, but I think Robopix probably needs it more. <laughs> if I remember right, Florges is meant to be kind of like a, like a specially defensive tank. Also, you don't, let's, well, we'll check that later, but I want to check if any of these guys evolved by stone. Uh, dung. Let's check your moveset first, actually, and your stats. So you're a physical attacker with special defense. Your special defense is the best stat. Okay. Uh, I'll 
I'll take Bug Bite over Struggle Bug. Uh, probably Tackle over Takedown, though. That's probably a better idea. Not a huge fan of moves with Recoil. Uh, what about you, Robopix? Can you... I mean, you're only level 12, but can you remember anything? Safeguard. Meh. Okay. Uh, Dung. Let's give you an item as well. Like... I don't know how you evolve is the thing. <laughs> so, this is a little strange, but... Um, hmm. I don't know, just Sue Bell maybe? Maybe it's a maybe it's a friendship evolution. I mean, the Dex entry said it needs to get strong enough to evolve, but I, I, don't, I don't know. Iron. Uh, who's defensive here? Clamp is. Who uses special attacks? Uh, that one. Health Feather, Clamp as a tank. Muscle Feather, physical attacks. Uh, let's give that to Rafa. Whoops, meant to use all three. There we go. Okay. So there's those and... Yep, nope, can't use any stones here. Okay, hello everyone. Glad to see you've gathered to watch me. Just kind of stare at me. It's very cool. Uh, there is an island out there that I kind of want to check out. I'm not sure why I'm jumping. I didn't need to jump at all. Put Waterstone. Neat. Cool to find that just on the ground. East quality and sea. Oh, you're new. Uh, you were a psychic type, right? Well, I'll keep. I'll keep the flower in front. Valusa. All right. Uh, okay. I think this thing was water psychic, if I remember right. Uh, oh, right. We have a quick ball. You can probably just use that. Oh. Oh. It's fine. Uh, oh, it's raining. That's not great for us. Uh, we actually... We have a bug type. We could use dung here. Oh, also a dark type. But also the, our dark type is ground type, so maybe not. Go, dung! Or is it? Um. Uh. Okay. Interesting. Um, I'm gonna throw a ball at it in the hopes that Dung will survive this. Uh, netball, please. This is a water type. Yeah, there we go. Weird angle, but okay. This is uh, quite the situation. All right, yes, Water Psychic. Veluza has excellent regenerative capabilities. It sheds spare flesh from its body to boost its agility, then charges at its prey. Interesting. Uh, I like you. I'm gonna call you Spike. Because, <laughs> you know, those fins seem pretty sharp. I almost want... I almost want to replace... Ooh, kind of a bad nature though. Mold Breaker, interesting. I almost want to replace Dargan with this Veluza with Spike. But they already kind of already have a water type on the team. Not that the water type needs to be there. You know. 
Wait, Iron Treads is in the Pokedex just as Iron Treads? Interesting. Is that really is that is that really the Pokemon's name? Huh. I figured, you know, they just call it Iron Treads for now and then give it a better name later. Wow, Giga Impact and Hyper Beam, that's funny. Oh, that's a lot of them. Also, what's this guy doing out here? Hello? I can't find... Yeah, you do seem to be a little bit lost, friend. I've looked everywhere, but I just can't find it. I can't find my potential anywhere. Oh. They're on like a spirit quest. Y'all go. No comment. <laughs> All right. Malusa breaks the mold. Uh Oh, we didn't heal Dong. Okay, well, we know it's a physical attacker. And it's probably not going to have anything to hurt Clamp too bad. So, Robo picks, swap out, Clamp, swap in. Slash, perfect. Get hit by that rocky element. Um, we actually don't have much to do to it ourselves, but we can at least take this time to heal up. Dumb. I feel like maybe I should Aqua Cutter. Is that a new move? Hmm. No, I having Protect on Clamp just seems weird to me. I mean, if we send Clamp out first, then sure, we can scout out a move, but a lot of the time we're kind of swapping in Clamp to take a hit, but yeah, no. And at that point, Protect isn't that great, but especially when we don't have like, Toxic or anything, like a status move. Yeah, that doesn't do much. Oh, but we got the Freeze though, that's neat. Uh, in that case, that gives us a chance to swap into Dung. Okay. All right. I'll take it. Frozen solid. Very nice. Fight it. Also, this is level 32. I should probably take note of that because that's a pretty high level. All right, once again. Still frozen, good. One more should do. Hopefully it stays frozen, yep. Nice. Man, freeze is such a rare condition. But like, theoretically it's not any better than being asleep, right? Or, you know, any worse than being asleep. Because both of them are like, you can't move, but eventually you will be able to. So I was like, I don't know. Uh, Razor Leaf is better than Vine Whip, so yes. Wait, here y'all go. Seems my potential doesn't lie in battle either. It's rough. It's rough, bud. But, uh,. You'll be all right. Oh, there's a... I can go around the other side. <laughs> I tried doing that, and then I looked at the map. I'm like, oh, I'll, I, I, I'll just go around. I uh, thought it might be one of those things where you, you like have to fly up on there, but no. Glide there. Water pledge. Interesting. See, it's funny. They have that move, but... Done a double battle yet? There's Grass Pledge, I'm gonna guess. The Fire Pledge is also here. Cause the whole gimmick with the pledges is that they act differently when you use multiple of them in one turn. And the only way you can do that is in double or in triple battles, but you know, I, I'm mentioning triple battles because that's fifth gen and fifth gen is where those moves originated. Uh, 
but I think also they're just kind of solid attacks as well. So, like if I look at it, where are the pledges? Here they are. Yeah, 80, 100. Those are just good moves. Nobody here can learn them, but they're basically some pretty good substitutes for if you don't have a flamethrower or surf or uh, what would be the grass equivalent energy ball. Because those are all slightly better, but not that much, really. All right. So yeah, um, probably worth going over there for Drupa because that's a pretty good shelter. It looked weird because the water, but right, rubber picks is in front. Carp. Okay. Okay. All right. More trainers to fight. Ooh, pearls. Nice. I guess I could sell some stuff. Then I would have more money. Probably got a few treasures to sell. What? Cool. Item here. Good, good. I guess that guy probably doesn't count towards the trainers in this area, since I think that was the East Paldean Sea area. Oh god, Tauros. I don't think you can handle this, but maybe try it. Okay, you could actually... There you go. Oh no, you got it! Okay. Well, that's a good source of experience for you. I don't know when or how you evolved, though. Things that I've never used you. Oh, the deerling looked to you, though. The big old... <laughs> the big old bulls were no problem, but... <laughs> Tiny little deer comes up? Yep. All right, whoa, 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 there. Great Crater of Paldia. Have you been to the Great Crater of Paldia? Uh, no, they tell me not to go there. So, yeah, no, I haven't. That's a sand dial. Can we hand dial the sand dial? I think so. Fine. We don't need our speed. We were already slower. Yep, that's a two shot. Robo picks. Pretty strong, it seems. No, don't torment me, though. Uh, no, this isn't going to go off. Oh, no, it still goes off. You just can't select it in the same move twice. Got it. Got it. Got it. I kind of forget that that's how torment works. What? You beat me? My confidence is cratering. <laughs> there are so many puns in this game. <laughs> uh, it seems like the localization team had some fun with this one. You know, seems like that might be the case. All right, what's this? Growlithe, huh? Okay, all right. Uh, again, we don't know what type it's actually going to be, so. What are you, Growlithe? Mm -hmm. Ground type. Okay. That's pretty good. You know, you avoid rock weakness. Not bad. Doggo. Uh, we do have Razor Leaf. It's a bit higher level than us, but we do have Razor Leaf. Cut it. We're fine. Heavy Light makes it sure. Make sure we are. Okay, yeah, actually, that does no damage. <laughs> Never mind. Um, a ground type. A ground type. 
my kingdom for a ground type. Clamp, you're the one. You've got this, Clamp. <sighs> Okay. Yup. Yup. Uh, I'm kind of afraid to hit it because I know Rocky Helmet's gonna deal damage too, but uh, Ice Shard should be fine. Or not. Oh wait, that's right. That's right, we're breaking Terra. Okay. We're good, we're good. It's not gonna hit us this turn. Uh, but let's Ultra Ball it just to make sure and it doesn't kill itself on Rocky Helmet. Oh, crit. Nice. Cool. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, Ruffa wants to learn Crunch. Crunch is a good move. It's basically better bite. All right. All right. And we need to give you a name. We're going to call you... Uh, I had a name. Right. So because he's like ground and fire... Lavelle. <laughs> also might bear slight resemblance to someone else's name, but you know. Oh. Yes, Robopix is evolving! Beautiful. We have a flowette now. You fucking piece of... I was gonna... Alright, well. That's fine, we can take you. Heavy Light still has effect because we still have an evolution we can do. Which is nice. Alright. Fairy Wind! Oh, that didn't do that much. Yeah, you do the, a lot better at this in in your uh, in, in, in auto battling. Uh, okay, Dargan, please, thank you. I'm thinking Dargan probably evolves somewhere around 30, but I don't know that. Anticipation. Oh, it's got a dark type move, doesn't it? Yep, right there. Ow. Well, uh. Gonna need a plan B, I guess. And that plan B is Clamp, who is weak to fighting, but if it double kicks us, it takes a lot of damage from Rocky Helmet. Uh, Ice Beam is gonna be our best move, yeah. All right. And that should do it. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's get away from these Tauros. <laughs> oh, a move. Wish. Uh, which is a solid move. Yeah, we'll get rid of Tearful Look. Okay. Alright, get away from the Tauros. Because I don't want to start another battle. Because we'll be doing more battling next time. But, uh, as for this episode... That's a wrap.
just in time. <laughs>